Hi and welcome to Let's Cook. Today's recipe is a memory from my childhood in a joint family where food was a symbol of love and care, especially for my grandma. She was a vegetarian, but the base of this recipe is from her. Let's cook sibas with tomatoes and spinach. We begin by slicing the sea bass fillet into two portions and then carefully scoring the skin. This helps the fish cook evenly and allows the flavors to go deeper. Season with salt, a touch of oil to reduce spluttering. I have chosen to use tomatoes on the vine, a nod to my grandmother's traditional way of cooking. However, feel free to substitute with cherry tomatoes or any other variety you prefer. The essence of this recipe lies in using the same pan to cook both the fish and the sauce, harnessing the rich flavors released from the sea bass to enhance the sauce. This technique is my personal twist on my grandmother's culinary style, adapted to incorporate fish into the beloved family recipe. After chopping the tomatoes in halves, let's wash the spinach. You will be amazed to see how simple ingredients can create something truly amazing. This completes the prep for the recipe. Begin by heating a pan and adding cooking oil along with about 2 tablespoons of butter. Don't be concerned about the quantity of butter, it's integral to the dish as everything will be cooked together in this single pan blending the flavors beautifully. Place the sea bass fillet skin side down onto the hot pan, ensuring that they make good contact with the surface. After cooking the sea bass fillets for 2 minutes on the skin side, flip them and cook the other side for another 2 minutes. Since they will be added to our base later, they don't require extensive cooking at this stage. The brief searing is enough to impart flavor and ensure they are just right when combined with the base. Next, in the same pan, enriched with the flavors of the fish, add the tomatoes to cook in the oil. This step infuses them with the savory essence of the sea bass, enhancing their taste and tying the dish together beautifully. Adding salt over the tomatoes once they are in the pan accelerates their cooking process, helping them to break down more quickly and release their flavors into the dish. I have listed the spices in the description. Once the tomatoes are tender, add the spinach directly to the pan. There is no need to chop it since it will cook down and blend seamlessly with the tomatoes. Mix them well and let them simmer together on a low flame for about 10 to 15 minutes allowing the flavors to melt together into a harmonious mixture. Look at this beautiful blend of tomatoes and spinach. It's the perfect stage now for our star, the sea bass, to make its grand entrance into the mix. Gently ladle some of the rich tomato spinach sauce over the sea bass fillets, then let them simmer covered for a few minutes. This allows the fillets to soak up the flavors of the sauce, infusing them with the combined goodness of each ingredient. There it is, ready. Thank you for joining me in bringing this special family recipe to life. If you've enjoyed this blend of tradition and simplicity, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Happy cooking! I hope this recipe wraps you in the warmth of apricity and evokes cherished memories of time spent with loved ones.